Greetings, fellow West Point Kentuckians. Rodamont here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 41 of Project Zomboid, which originally aired live on Twitch. You know, I just noticed um, this teddy bear out here is creepy as hell. Have you ever noticed that in the menus? This one right here? Its eyes are glowing. What the hell? Yeah, shy game is shy. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Uh, fingers crossed it will work for us. Yeah, it is a zombie teddy. Okay. So here's where we left off. I am, if you want to look at the map, exclamation mark map gets you the map. I am uh, next to the destroyed cabin in Valley Point, uh, way up near this store. So pretty far flung from my usual stomping ground. Man, these puns and double entendres are just coming at you. Ducks in a row, stomping ground. I like it. I hope you guys do too. Um, wow, Klein. The 22 month flex right there. Dang. Thanks for the resub. Yes, teddy bears aren't needed after Teddy Roosevelt. I did know that. So, one thing we didn't really check, you know, before I go anywhere with this vehicle, I want to make sure that the wheels don't fall off. Um, a little bit of caution goes a long way. Hey, Matt, thanks for the bits as well. So, it looks like we have some tires. Wow, it looks like the driver's seat is about to fall apart. Can you imagine a truck with a... And the driver's side window is not great. The battery is not great. The engine is not great. This is a, uh... A not great vehicle. But, uh... We'll do what we can. In the trunk, there is some garbage that I can throw out. There's actually a tote bag with plastic bags in it. Um... In my own inventory, I've got an empty gas can. Don't I have the jack? Yeah, here it is. Jack, lug wrench, and tire pump. And I was carrying around this stuff here uh, so that I might be able to uh, do maintenance to the vehicle if it needed. Um, if I recall correctly, I had fully searched this building here, but I am um, I'm deep within zombie territory. I mean, I am... This is nowhere safe. Oh, no. Maybe I hadn't gone in here. This is... No, maybe I have. I don't know. Can I afford the lease? Uh, well, it's free. All it requires is a ounce of blood per month. A pint of blood, probably. To keep it in working order. No, no, I've been here. I've been here. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe I haven't. If I've been here, I would have taken the pop. And the garbage bag. So, perhaps I haven't. Uh, let's fill my water bottle. And... It'd be funny if I found a sledgehammer. Uh, just like in this random shop. I'm gonna take the large metal shelves. Why is the hype train red? Normally it is purple. Uh, I, I... That's my doing. I made it red. I changed my um, uh, my color of choice today to match my text when I type. The so infrequent typing that I do. Yes, Faddish Ashley. Part of me actually feels like, um, like I actually put some considerable thought to the body shaming movement i don't want to get on a rant but but without getting on a rant a part of me feels like ash should stay fat or at least husky as much as i can perhaps we put it to a vote but i don't think there's a need to be a slim zombie hero i think if you're a little overweight that's fine. Please start. This truck, all it's going to do is block my stairs. That is its purpose. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to drive on out of here. 
Uh, again, a little reminder, I'm in Valley Point, really far away from home. Um, and we are in a neighborhood that is very dangerous. It is very overrun. As you can see, these packs of zombies aren't a few. There are many. I just passed, I don't know, 50, uh, 100. These are hundreds of zombies up in this neighborhood, so. Whoa, ho. Oh, hey, Sheriff. Oh, no, the car died. Car, don't die. Look, look at all these cops with all their rifles. Didn't serve them well. Yeah, this uh, this vehicle is in bad shape. It is, um, it stalls out and dies all the time. I picked a color for my truck color. Yeah, well, actually, so it's normally this color, this sort of uh, brick red color, right? Fire brick, I think it's called. And I just wanted to match the fire brick. What do you, oh, you have a spear with a knife in you. Dang, this really is Sparta. Back in high school, I actually threw javelin. Oh my god. Now, I'm not too worried about keeping this car pristine. This car is mostly... I mean, it has a nice, spacious trunk. And I could perhaps do maintenance to it to bring it back up to working order. Uh, that, of course, will be up to you. Now that I'm driving, uh, for the early birds, for you awesome early birds that show up nice and early, um... Let's open up the submit project goals. Uh, if you need some inspiration for project goals, uh, I could have an, a cleaner living space. I could do more organization. I could do some trapping or um, fishing or foraging. Uh, I could work on, um, you know, expanding the base a bit. I could... Uh, secure more vehicles. I could do more scavenging. I could build a gangway uh, around the outside of the base. I could secure the outside of the base. I could add more lights. Um, I could do vehicle maintenance, electronics, if you take a look at my skills here. Um, my carpentry is the only thing going hot, hot, hot. I could try to find a farming book. That one would be pretty important. Again, Ultimately up to you all. Um, I could try to find an everyday vehicle. Uh, I could head back into town near the hardware store that I haven't searched. There's a there's a lot of projects um, that I'd be happy to undertake. Marcade, thanks for gifting us up. Contributing that tight to that hype train. And Omega and Sky Collective. Sky Collective, it's always a pleasure to see you here. Always a pleasure. I have... I, I... Oh, car's dead again. <laughs> Lovely. You know what? I'm gonna have some coffee. No one, no one instructed me to have coffee, but I'm gonna have some coffee. The uh, project suggestions... You know what? I just noticed I didn't unpause it. I actually just made it unavailable. Because... Uh, I'm an idiot, and I fixed it. So I'll take uh, five or six suggestions, and we'll do it the same way we did before, where once we have five or six suggestions, I'll pause it, uh, we'll vote, I'll work on the first option, I'll re-pull it, I'll work on the second option, I'll flush it. Uh, I think I like that method. And then, after we do this polling, I also have some other questions about, um, should I aim to be- Whoa, hey there. Thunk. Should I aim to be fit ash or fat ash? Should I be a fat ash? I'm okay with being a fat ash. The double entendres are, uh, are in full force today. How goes it? It goes pretty well. Dem tacos, it goes pretty well. How's your, uh, how's your working on, uh, affiliate going? Uh-oh. You gotta move. That one was unavoidable. I can't be uh, guilty of that run over. It was not my fault. All right, we definitely have enough. So let me start polling. I'm gonna bring up the polls right now. Uh, so we've got Trustin saying trap some food. So what is my next project? Trapping for food. 
So trapping would give me um, mostly small game, you know, rabbits and the like. Um, search for the sledge at this point, and that was from Cruzio. Um, Karak has said uh, work work on tailoring. So working on tailoring. Right now, all of my clothes are about as tough as they could be. Um, there are tougher clothes that I could find, like uh, fireman bunker pants. But <clears throat> the chance of finding fireman bunker pants is pretty slim because I don't. There's no fire stations in West Point or Valley Point. So, um, general scavenging from Crash M. And uh, fix up the van for Mark Master. I'm going to call it a box truck just to make it clear because it's, I do believe, technically a box truck. So there you go. There's your pull options. And I'm just going to continue driving home. Yes. Uh, so the leather plus tailoring is more powerful for some clothing, but not all. A, lo a lot of the best clothing in this game is not made of leather and therefore is not repairable. Um, yeah. Yeah, this tutorial, if you ever have questions about the game, you're welcome to ask. Uh, this is not so much a tutorial, but I will impart all the knowledge that I have upon you. And I usually drop some nuggets of wisdom here. Ooh. Wow, the brakes on this truck. Did you see that? I came to a grinding halt. Brakes work. Brakes did not work on my last on my last baby blue. That thing stopped on a dime. So the cab might look pretty messed up, but it is actually pretty good. One of the things I haven't actually been able to do is towing. I've been meaning to try to figure out how to tow things. How do you, I don't even know how to go about, no, not smash rear windshield. Not wash vehicle. I don't even know how to tow. Lock hood. Attach. Taxi. I can't find a way to the trailer. Okay. So I need a little bit more room. Because I could also tow vehicles back. Um, that I could work on in my shop. Nope, no, don't open the hood. Okay, so here we go. This is the... There it is. Now I'm towing. Hey! Panlish, how are you doing? Welcome, Raiders. What were you playing today, Panlish? You were playing today... Oh, yeah, no, I actually saw you. Internet Cafe Simulator. For whatever day it is. 1,900 something or another. Something ridiculous. So here we go. So, uh, Raiders... Let me fill you in, because you probably don't know what's going on. Uh, my series tends to be viewer-submitted ideas, which you can see over here. Um, we are voting on what I work on next. Uh, if you want to know anything about the series here, uh, just the exclamation mark about will tell you. But essentially, I'm role-playing as Ash from Evil Dead, Ashley Williams. Uh, we have ongoing jokes like, uh, my character here started off underweight, and I've been overweight for, like, months now. I shot past normal weight, and now I'm just a one hefty uh, zombie slaying, uh, ice cream packing, mayonnaise squirting eater. Um, also, for you raiders, there is my sidekick here, who's reluctant to show his face. Hey, buddy. And my other sidekick, Tusk, come here. Come here, puppy. Here she is. Well, sort of. She's, she's a dog, but she's also a liquid, as you can see. Um, Yes, dual puppy cams. Can you believe it? Hey, Yoda. Buddy. Buddy. Ooh, he's turning red with anger. So right now we're trying to decide uh, what I'm going to work on next. Whether it's going to be these five options that were just submitted by chat. And, uh, and here's my base. I'll give you, I'll give you my cribs tour. Uh, let me unhook this taxi cab because I don't really need to be towing it right now. I just wanted to uh, to test out towing because I really I've never towed before. Um, yep, I've been alive for two months, five days, three hours. Uh, if you're wondering about all this duck stuff over here, 
uh, I've come up with a custom rule set where I collect rubber duckies, and then if I have, if I die, I can sacrifice the rubber duckies to basically save scum. Because this game is extraordinarily unforgiving. You're quite behind on my YouTube. Watching me fish for the first time? <laughs> yeah, I, my crappy stew. I caught a crappy <laughs> and made some crappy stew. It was, I was so very excited to have fished for the first time ever. So I'm just, uh, I just got home from a very, very long excursion. Well, it wasn't that long, but an excursion to find a box truck uh, to barricade. So w one of the game mechanics in this game are that um, anything that zombies, anything that the player has built, um, zombies can destroy. That is sort of the the golden rule. If, if you built it, zombies can break it. Which means that um, any walls or refrigerators or boxes or literally anything that you've ever done in this game uh, can be undone by zombies. Uh, and there is a, a game tactic in this game where you can destroy staircases with a sledgehammer to prevent zombies from being able to access higher floors. So that you... Oh, it's doing this wall thing again. Um... But my character here cannot, for the life of him, find a sledgehammer. I have searched for maybe 20 hours for a sledgehammer, never found one. Um, so I am employing a secondary way to block zombies, where zombies are able to crawl under vehicles, but once they're under vehicles, they can't destroy the walls on the other side. So if I park like this around my player-made walls and door, I can prevent zombies from being able to break my walls and my door, thereby Staying alive, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, staying alive. Um, so that's the only way I've been able to secure my second floor because I have no sledgehammer. Now, if I find a sledgehammer, I don't have to do the parking barricade trick. But the parking barricade trick is, um, it's handy. It's handy when you when you can't find a sledge because no matter how bad your luck is, there's going to be vehicles around you that you're able to find. So this is my lovely bachelor loft. Uh... I will give you the proper tour. I just, uh, right now I have a massive metal shelves in my, on my person that are like destroying my, my poor little spine. Um, so we've got my weapons and tool storage over here. Uh, my little bookcase. Oh, you know what? My list of books that I have, I put my list away because I cleaned my desk. So I'm going to have to find that before too long. Uh, everywhere around the base, I have escape ropes to get, uh, to downstairs and back upstairs. We have party ducks. So these are my four uh, respawn ducks, all with their own party hats in the middle of the floor. Uh, a box full of like bullets and other random stuff that I haven't sorted. I just last stream, I hooked up a washer and dryer if I wanted clean clothing. Uh, we have an antique furnace here for the winter. We have tasked boxes. So this is building supplies. This one's metalworking. This one is electrical. And then my beautiful kitchen where I've got uh, food stores and freezers full of frozen goods. Um, the sinks are plumbed, the washer and dryer is plumbed, and then right out here, I have a, a farm, my wonderful farm, with uh, nothing ready to really harvest, but all the rain barrels and all that. And then above my little loft, you have a 95 pound black lab, awesome. This is, um. I have three dogs, this is, but my third dog never hangs out. So here's all my plumbing water. Let's see if I can call the third dog in. I'm, I'm home alone right now, uh, so there's no good reason that my third dog would not hang out with me. Here she comes. She says hi. Come here. Hello. 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 How are you? Okay. Yeah. And, oh, this one. Yep. Whole bunch of puppies. Uh, so yeah, this is the base. I live, if you're wondering, if uh, exclamation mark map will show you exactly where I'm living. It's um, a bitly link to a centered area of where I'm living. I'm in the large warehouse in West Point, 
uh, one of the rules of the series is I'm not to leave West Point or Valley Point. Valley Point is just sort of northeastern West Point. And, uh... Yeah. So we've stuck to those rules uh, pretty well. Pretty well. Um, but it does make it very, very difficult for me to find things that I need. Because I have a pretty restrictive area. I'm like on a house arrest uh, type of situation here, I guess. So it looks to me, I gave you long enough. Fixing up the new box truck uh, seems to be the the predominant choice here. AFKs to support, rock on. I even have alert command, so right back at you. <laughs> I am loading up the taxi cab here. Uh, the concept here is I might try to drive by the auto mechanics shop, which is in, um, which is nearby, to try to find parts. But initially, let's get some food in me because I'm. No, don't climb that. What? Why are you doing this? Uh, because I'm hungry, and Fat Ashley. Am I still fat? Yeah, I'm still technically fat. Fat Ashley. Needs his, needs his carbs. Wait, stop! I hate this door. I cannot wait until I have a sledgehammer. I'm just gonna leave it open. If any zombies wants a bite, I'm too big for them to chew. So what do you all think about the fat Ashley? Uh, should I stay fat? Oh, that was weird. Trying to type it up. And there. What do you think? Should I stay fat? Yes or no? So the advantage of staying fat is if I ever have food scarcity, I've got a fallback plan of I don't have to eat as much because I can, you know, subsist on a starvation diet for a while. Um... Also, I've been known as Fat Ashley, so it would be in a bit of an identity crisis if I lost weight, because, you know, that's been my identity. It really has been. Um, I don't know. So it, it's sort of up to you guys if you think Fat Ashley should slim down or not. I'm not... And, and the advantage, of course, of slimming down is uh, I would have a little bit more endurance. Um, but what I can say is being overweight really hasn't stopped me yet, so... Maybe it's not a problem? I don't know. It's up to you. You can, you can vote. I welcome the, the input. You don't see a lot of a fat action heroes. You know, you had Thor who was fat for all of, like, an hour, and then he was not fat anymore. So that's a pretty bad... Uh, example of uh, an action hero that was fat and stayed fat. Of course, Bruce Campbell, during the shoots of this, of um, Ash Evil Dead, wasn't fat, but we, we are our, our own character very much so now, so the choice is yours. Because I am very, very soon about to be in the normal category. I'm still technically overweight, as you can see, up top, but uh, really, it's probably a fraction of a kilogram, and I'll be back to uh, normal, which would be tragic. So, you voted. Let me update the current project. You want a quick growling? So, the current project now is fix the box truck. And uh, if we take a look, I am going to fix it in the order of the most danger to me. Also, uh, depending on my own personal skill at fixing it. So the hood sucks. Um, the windshield's good. The driver's side window and tires suck. The engine sucks, but I don't have the mechanic ability to do anything with the engine. I just don't have that kind of skill. So the best things I can do is to fit a better tire on front left. So the front tire... The front left tire doesn't blow out. Um, a rear windshield wouldn't be a terrible idea. Uh, you know, first things first, let's get gasoline in it, right? 
Ash was chubby during Ash vs. Evil Dead TV show on Stars. Yeah, Bruce Campbell is, um... He's not a skinny dude. I mean, he was pretty skinny for the first movie. Or, for the first run of the... What was it? Three? But then, when he was on, uh... Burn Notice and stuff like that... I wouldn't say he was fat, but he was, uh... He had mass. He wasn't... He wasn't svelte. He wasn't lean. He was bigger. Um, nothing wrong with that. We're just Bruce Campbell in his later days then, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's hilarious. I, I absolutely... He's great. Refuel from gas pump. I'm going to refuel too. Should I stay fat? No. Uh, okay. Barely a no. Barely a no. I'm gonna leave that up a little bit longer, because I don't... There's no reason for me to take that down. Okay, so the tank will be full. I do love how, if you have a generator at a gas station, you have infinite, uh, <laughs> infinite gasoline. Polar to bear. Thanks for the sub and in advance. That's crazy. And then the whole bunch of you, I'm guessing you're all Banlish Raiders, uh, followed, which is super cool. Uh, Distracted Ferret, Darpa, or Darp for Chief, Death Pony, Sekun, co Copper, uh, Copper Eek. Welcome. Welcome all. I, I also am known to crash into everything. Normally, I take the trait Sunday Driver, so I'm not used to this game driving at, like, normal human speeds. And as a result, I totally... Oh, you want some Yoda? I totally impact... Uh, I've driven into trees at, like, 90 miles an hour. It's pretty funny. I am tactfully reckless. First time you could join live? Well, welcome. Yeah, if you're ever wondering when I'm going to next be live... Uh, Rodamont.com slash Twitch has my stream schedule. So I, I update that almost every day. Um, anytime that there's changes to my schedule or anything like that, it'll be updated. And, uh, and it has countdown timers as well. So it's not time zone requiring. You don't have to do math. You can just go to Rodamont.com and it will tell you when my next stream is. And then if you're curious what stream it will be, Rodamont.com slash Twitch will have all the information. Um. Because, yeah, I always, I always welcome people over from YouTube. It's great. I have people here. Because it makes a significant difference when you're, like, you know, playing with an active audience. It's really, really cool. So, uh, we have got a rear... Okay, so for, for this truck, we need heavy-duty parts. Because it is a heavy-duty truck. So, let me demo that real quick. That's probably obvious to most of you. Obviously, a box truck is a big, big vehicle. Um, but there's three types of vehicles. Uh, so we've got vehicle type heavy duty. So the types of parts that it will take will be heavy duty parts. Um, some parts are obviously not specific, like, uh, driver seats and radios and stuff like that. But hoods and rear windshields and things of that nature are going to need to be, um, heavy duty styled. So I've got, I've got, uh, a heavy duty tire here. A value type tire, so it's not like a good tire, but that's the only tire I have. And I'm going to replace the front left, because the front left is the uh, the absolute uh, most destroyed in this vehicle. And that means I'm going to need my jack and my lug wrench and my uh, tire pump. Almost everything needs to be replaced. Well, mint vehicles, vehicles in really good condition, are, are a myth in this game, if I'm being honest. So... I don't need it mint, I just need it so that if I hit a few zombies, uh, the wheels don't fall off. Because if the wheels fall off and you're far from home, and you're getting swarmed, uh, well, you're dead. You're just dead at that point. Oh no, I have other heavy duty tires. I've... Okay, I have, I have a few. So, I think what might be good is if I replace all of my, um, my front two tires with good ones. Uh, so that if I'm hitting zombies... And I also have a heavy duty windshield as well. So if I'm hitting zombies straight on, uh, the way the way the impact damage works is where you hit the 
where you hit the zombies, you take the damage. So if you hit them with your front, it's, you know, your hood, your windshield, your front tires primarily. Uh, back tires do take wear and tear too, though. Uh, okay, let's, without further ado, replace the tires. Don't forget to rotate. I don't think I'm ever going to drive 5,000 miles in the series, but yeah. So the front right is in fine condition. It needs to be pumped up a little bit. But the front left is really trashed. And the rear left is pretty trash too. So I'm going to replace the rear left and front left. Uh, unfortunately, I'm, re I'm taking out performance tires, which is too bad. Um, I think they, I think it's, I think I could be wrong, but I think performance tires have better durability or something like that. Uh, and I'm replacing them with the uh, value tires. So they're in perfect condition, but they're ultimately not as good at max condition. And then after these are on, I will have you all vote on a second set of the same um, poll rules that I had. And let's inflate. It is nice to have a garage I can work in. I don't have to necessarily worry about zombies chomping on me. So the front windshield is fine. It's 86%. I'm not going to bother installing the front windshield that I have. Um, I don't think that there's going to really be a benefit to that. And these windshields are front and back specific, so it's not like I can just take my generic windshield and throw it on the back. The driver's side window is also concerning, because if your driver's side window blows out, um, zombies can pull you out of the vehicle and make you lunch. And I don't... I know I'm a bit of a snack, but I don't want to be a lunchable. I don't think the rear windshield standard will work either, but I, I don't suspect I'm going to do a whole lot of damage to my rear windshield anyway. Yeah, the type only affects damage chance. Crash is what you said. Well, I'd rather have the nice tires again, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Now, you did task me with fixing up this truck, and I do tend to spend one or two days on a task before I abandon it, unless it's really, really simple to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the taxi cab and, um, and uh, run to the nearest uh, car parts. You know, the local Napa auto parts or whatever. Ruining a tree is pretty easy. It is. I hope to keep the the, the trunk intact. The trunk here... Um, I could actually try to repair it, given my metalwork. The chance of success is kind of low, which is um, not great, because I don't want to break the trunk further in my attempt to replace it. Uh, but keeping the trunk in good condition means that... Um, uh, means that this... Uh, I can store a lot of stuff. So my suspension... Is there a way to tell what kind of suspension is in here? No, not that I could tell. Because it stopped on a dime. So this vehicle's already uh, in far better condition than I even inherited it in. Um, and let's celebrate by smoking a cigarette. Hey, senpai. Oh, yep, my bad. You're the streamer cam. Let me hook that up. This should be hooked up. Okay, it'll be working from here on out. I inherited it in. <laughs> it is a bit of a tongue, tongue twister. Hey, pay attention over here, buddy. So this is my everyday driver. It's it's in it's arguably in a way better condition than the other vehicles I had. Um, there's my tire pump. I should also be. Before I, I mean, it's getting late in the day, so I'm probably just going to read the rest of the day and do like a fast forward of time. But another thing I want to do before I go anywhere is to fill up the gas cans uh, because it might be possible for me to tow a vehicle home. I would be really interested in getting um, more vehicles. Uh, redneck style, I guess. Have a, uh, have a parking lot full of dead vehicles. 
Come on, taxi. Your engine is not this bad. Oh, another thing I didn't look at with the new truck is uh, its headlight condition. I tend to bash things with the front of the car, and, well, headlights tend to die. I really wish there was, like, roof racks or something like that. That'd be awesome. It wouldn't be a terrible... Oh, is this already full? Okay. Well, the vehicle's full. Let me fill up the cans. Um, it wouldn't be a terrible idea for me to fence off at some point. This is an idea for you guys to submit in the future. To fence off the gas station and to have some sort of gate that I build so that when I'm refueling, there's no chance of me getting uh, snuck up on. Because the generator isn't exactly a zero volume item. And as you can see, my sight lines when I'm refueling is terrible. I can't really see around me. Um, so I, I could definitely foresee a situation a situation where uh, where I get bit or something while trying to refuel just because uh, the lack of sight lines and whatnot. Cheers. Oh, come on. Cheers. Snowplow cowcatcher. This is Kentucky, so the chances of finding a snowplow are pretty nil, but the chances of finding enough metal and and metalwork tools to to fashion your own sort of makeshift plow is better. But yeah, they're they're going to be adding in the ability to make armored vehicles eventually. But with um with all things that are Project Zomboid uh, development, don't hold your breath. You'll asphyxiate because their development is famously slow. Doesn't sound like a complaint. It's not a complaint. Oh, come on. I'm not parked that close. Man, this truck is so dead. Oh, I have to go in the other side. Just after NPCs. Yeah, how, how long have they been promising NPCs? Nine years? Longer? Seven and a half years? But who? But who's counting? That might be too close. Because if I can get out of the driver's side or too far, if I can get out of the driver's side door, it means uh, zombies can stand up. Yep. Suburb survivors mod. Yeah, I I don't. I would like it to be a vanilla experience. Personally. And to have uh, this, you know, 41B multiplayer. I'm right there with you. Alright, let's do some quick reading. And then head to sleep. So I won't actually be barricaded in. Um when I go to sleep, because I don't have things blocking the stairwell, but with the very, very, very low zombie population immediately within my base, I'm not that worried either. Yeah, the implementing of uh, multiplayer was, was definitely very game-changing to the development. Oh, I have a light that burned out. Because this game is a uh, quite fun multiplayer. If if you are playing with people that are not totally new, inexperienced, and uh, won't get you killed. It's kind of a long list of requirements, I suppose. Okay, let's uh, back up my save in case I get eaten at night. And I will not stay fat. Cool. I mean, it works for me either way. Right, Tusk? Whoever Tusk is. Tusky girl. 
She's shy. Yoda isn't, though. There we go. So let's take a look at this map real quick. Because I need to find a local auto parts. Uh, where is the closest? Oh, there's an auto shop uh, just north of Drake and Chris. Okay. Yeah, there's an auto shop relatively close, but it could be swarming. I'd have to check. Well, I mean, I will check. But I, I feel like... Um, uh, given how you all voted for me to um, work on the vehicle, I need better parts. So, time to head out. Let's fill up the old, uh, fill up the old water bottles. Oh, I, yeah, I, I clicked it once. There, sorry. Now it's gone. You can end the polls without actually uh, closing them down. Cabbage, are you ready? You are not. How is my weapon? Very, very good. Okay. So we'll be taking the cab over to the auto shop. You found a sledgehammer yesterday, and you came into the stream just to tell me. <laughs> I'll... When I find one, I find one. I've designed a base that doesn't really require one. So I'm not too concerned. Oh, I forgot to eat. But hey, you told me to be skinnier, Ashley. So what I'm doing now is just driving to the auto shop, which is just past this construction site uh, to the north. So take a left here and then a right and then I'm there. I can hear zombie. Oh, he's. All right, I am building up a little bit. Oh, yep, there's some threat. Oh, this Econovan looks nice. I'm gonna pull over here. Get to work. <laughs> Thanks for the gifted sub, by the way, Orange. So not just to taunt me about your find of a sledgehammer, but also to be generous. I appreciate that. Hey, psst, psst. come here. I got candy in my van. It's too bad, I, I, this is freshly laundered clothing. I'm really surprised, oh, yeah, so they stopped following me. That's cool. I'll, I'll be able to pull, peel a few off at a time rather than fighting nine at once. Run at once is unfun. But this van looks uh, in pretty good condition. So I'm going to boost it. Even though that's not... Well, technically it's to fix up the truck, right? Because I can steal the parts. Uh, because they're the same vehicle type. I don't need an auto shop. I can just shop around for autos. Oh, don't miss. <laughs> don't want to get eaten here. <laughs> it would not be good. Did that hurt my armor? It did not.
Man, I'm cutting through these guys pretty quick. Which is something to say right before tragedy strikes, right? Okay, or right before... Oh, that was a double tap. A pistol? I don't really need it. Oh, but maybe, um... Just ride around with it on my hip. No, I was gonna say maybe take out the magazine. But there isn't one. Zombies have feelings too. Just a feeling of hunger that can't be satiated. Whew! That is a nice vehicle. Oh boy. How big's the trunk? It's 99% intact. And it's full of gas. Um Honestly, guys, this this is arguably way better than the box truck. Um should I just keep this as my primary vehicle? The box truck is um is good to block those stairs, but this, of course, this thing's locked. I'm gonna have to smash a window. Well, that's okay. All right, so let's smash. Uh, let's smash not the driver's side window, and that will be the thing I have to replace. Uh, what? What window? The. Rear, the middle right window, let's smash. Okay, it's unlocked. There's candy. There's literally candy in the van. I... So this is the fabled actually has candy in the van and not just a rapist. Sweet. We found it. <laughs> All right, let's hotwire the engine. Uh, I haven't checked the trunk uh, side. Whoa, hotwired first try. First try. The trunk is only 50 or 49 size, but it also has a lot of um, it has a lot of uh, seats and all that. Yeah, so there's a lot of storage in the van, not just in the trunk. It is not a fast vehicle, but that's probably a good thing. Considering my inability to drive safely. And now my redneck parking lot has grown. Oh my god. Oh, I'm smoking my tires and my cigarette. Okay, uh, problem? Uh, the van can't tow. <laughs> I'm gonna have to probably line the vehicles up better, but me. Ow! Oh, Jesus. Okay, didn't hurt me. Didn't ruin my armor. Uh. Me squealing the tires attracted some friends. I only have 12% uh, bite protection on the neck. Yeah, I know. There's really no way to gain higher, though. There's not a lot that actually covers the neck. Maybe bunker jackets. Fireman bunker jackets might have a slightly higher. Or some of the military clothing, but I don't have a firehouse or... Um... Oh, wow, this is an underpowered engine. 
Well, I can back up better than I can go forward, so... Is there a handbrake? Let me see. Oh, it was in park, I think. Who's starting that vehicle? <laughs> Just turning over on itself? I, uh, I, I, I haven't towed before. So I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to figure out the ins and outs of it while under duress here. Go away. Nothing stops the repo, man. Nothing I say. Boy, was that a bad movie. Uh, oh, I killed a killed a cop. I don't think he'll mind. He was kind of already dead. Every time I get into a zombie fight, you spin around thinking you're getting attacked in, uh, seven days. As long as they're not, like, uh, C4 zombies, right? Those are the worst. Like, honestly, who strapped C4 to zombies? Why do zombies have C4 strapped to their chest in seven days? Who did that? Why would they do that? Isn't that just, like, the laziest game mechanic of, like... Well, to destroy your base in seven days to die, uh, zombies magically have timed explosives strapped to their chest, and if you shoot the explosives, they blow up. It's like, uh... No? Could we just not do that as a way to blow up bases? Because that's just... lame? I don't know. That's the one thing I really hate about seven days, is... They seem to be in a fight with the players about how good bases should be able to be. And they're constantly trying to make it harder to create bases. Okay, so we're in neutral now with the taxi cab. So I'm not, uh, yeah. Okay, nope, that wasn't it. That was obviously not it. Tow the van? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Could I have walked back by now? Yeah, I could have I could have I could have driven one vehicle back and then ran back and did the other one. But I mean it's worth learning towing, I guess. It's a learning experience, exactly. And apparently this uh this van's engine uh, sucks a big one. Okay, it is also in neutral. Oh, van, you are sad. You are a sad van. This taxi cab out pulls you. Like, significantly. Choo -choo. I saw a picture, I don't know where the cab was, but uh, recently someone took a picture of a Tesla cab. It's like, um, okay. I mean, I guess, I guess, I gotta say, electric vehicles don't make f good for good taxi cabs yet because of, you know, charge and, and range. But sure, I suppose. So, this is going to be my everyday vehicle. Uh, at this point, to fix this up, all I need is a replacement window. Most taxi cabs don't have to drive very far. Yeah, but they have to be on the road a while. Maybe maybe Teslas don't, can do city idling better, because they would turn off constantly. So, I suppose you're right about that. Jack the Irish. 
and the the U.S. Uh, Philippi or something is that Thesis Philippi? Probably I, I don't know. One of those two two names. Thanks for the follows. Yeah, I could I could install a bigger engine into this. Uh, let me let me check out the engine. It is. Whoa, where is the engine? I don't know. I don't have the vehicle mechanics to be able to even know what is going on. But I do need a, a window. That I know I need. It says 260 horsepower. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yep. 260 horses for an Econo van or value line van or whatever they call it would be uh, really, really, really bad. And checking out the box trucks. Not that these have engines that are like, worth a damn. This has a uh, 370 horsepower engine. So, yeah. And the cab. This cab's gonna have some sort of obscene horsepower, isn't it? Gonna have like a four. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so this this is a sleeper car. That's a cop car right there. That ain't even a cab. That ain't even a taxi cab. That is a sleeper. Yeah, it's eight cylinders. It's got like a Hemi under the hood. Oh my god. All right, well, I'm gonna park this golden cab in here. It's like a Crown Vic with a V8. Uh, what about this engine? The new... The new box truck. Has a 370. Okay. So, I have a lot of large engines at my disposal once I have, uh, Mechanics 5. But, I suspect I'm not gonna get Mechanics 5 in a while. Yeah, the, the, the sort of pickup... I crashed my two vehicles, right? Uh, the sort of acceleration that this box truck has compared to the, uh... The... Franklin value line is uh, a lot. Don't worry, it was a love tap. Just a love tap. Yeah, most most cabs in this era were um, okay. I can still get out on the wrong side. Were like Crown Vicks, yeah. In 1993, nowadays cabs tend to be like. Impalas and Toyotas and Priuses and a whole bunch of variety. Camrys. There. Ambulances have the most powerful engine. Yeah. Okay, let's... Camrys? <laughs> Apparently, this taxi has the most powerful engine to weight ratio. Uh, so this will be my um, my get out of Dodge ca car. It doesn't have a lot of storage space, but obviously it's very powerful. And despite its current appearance, it's um, it's in actually pretty rel relatively okay condition. Um, I could clean it. And replace its hood and windshield, and it would look fine. No, wait, where, where, what are you doing, dude? Open the trunk. Take the stuff out. So we're switching vehicles. All we need to do is find a uh, a window for the box truck, or the uh, the van, the Econo Econo van. The cop car and the cop SUVs are beasts, too. There's always a possibility of me finding one of them. But for now, this is my daily driver. It's underpowered, but that will keep me from slamming into trees at 90 miles an hour. I could drive back to the mechanics, yeah. I, w I would want to uh, eat some food because I'm very hungry. And 
I keep doing that. Dear Lord. Also knowing that any vehicle I find, it will not be able to tow home with the, uh, <laughs> with the van, which is a bit of a problem. Get the glove box set up? Yeah, I'll have to... I don't even know what my... What vehicle has my glove box uh, stuff. But I'll figure that out in a sec. So first things first, the... I took apart a bunch of um, radios and, and the like. So amplifier, batteries, wires and light bulbs, and all sorts of other random scrap goes in. I could barely tow a, a kid's tricycle. Yeah, but a kid's tricycle could actually go in the van. But but fair point. That thing that thing had no giddy up. Twas twas very sad. So clothing and tools. Okay. I'm trying to get ahead and like put everything away so that I never have the uh, unfortunate experience of having buckets and buckets and buckets of randomly unsorted garbage, which is impossible to fix once that happens. It takes a long time. And that concludes all the news for you fellow West Point Kentuckians. Episode 41 of Ash Williams Project Zomboid. If you would like to catch a live stream, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Keep it in mind that there are four hours left of the stream yet to air. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell.